obviously as a minor league manager, you're used to a, a certain amount of turnover when it comes to your roster, but the past couple of days have got to have been a challenge for you. Yeah, you're right. I mean, the turnover, the natural, you know, lose a guy here, there going up <clears throat> or, or going down is is expected. I think what, what's happened over the last two, three weeks for us uh, was not expected. And it, I've never seen anything like it. And it, you know what? It, it just so happened that the pieces that were, you know, able to go to the big league club, the, the pieces that were replacing them were coming off of this team or the majority of them. So, you know, it's something that happens and, and uh, we're dealing with it. How do you as a manager handle that? I mean, do, do, is it something that you need to kind of rally the troops with? I mean, you know, how, how do you how do you handle your players through a situation like You know, this? it's been tough. I think the pitching took such a hit, and then with a couple of short starts in there, the bullpen was just completely depleted. So, you know, ego-wise for us, I mean, it, it's been tough. And we, I think we're in a streak now where we've, we've given up seven or eight, eight in a row. Um, I think we're going to be fine once the dust settles. And as a manager, you know what? You deal with what you have and what, not what you don't have. Uh, we'll, we'll move on with what we have here. And I think, like I said, once that dust settles in and we get you know, acclimated to this team one more time, you know, I think for us right now, it's just getting this team together and ready for the playoffs. Anything specific you told the players who were leaving and, or specifically what you know, told the players that who, have, who, have, who have stayed? Um, <clears throat> yeah, specifically, I spoke with the players that we have here. Um, you know, in a, in a clubhouse meeting after the game. And the players that leave, you know, you wish them the best of luck. You thank them for what they've done here and for this organization. And um, you, you let them know that someday when, when they're in the big leagues and you get to watch them play or see their name in the big league box score, you know, they know that I'm going to be very happy for them. Now, you yourself were part of a pennant drive trade, if you will, uh, albeit on the other side you were going to a contending team been able to draw from that experience to kind of help rally your own troops? Yeah, that's a long time ago. I haven't drawn on that. I think it, it, it's a little bit different when uh, <clears throat> I was the player going, not the player coming. You know, I, I haven't related anything about that to the guys I've got here. Um, and to be honest with you, I'm not sure that situation with me back in 91 even applies to what we're going through right here. You know, we, we've lost a lot of players. And like I said, there's nothing we can do about it. Um, we're going to have to grind it out, and we'll just focus on what we do have. As a player, is it kind of a does it take a, an emotional hit, or is it kind of rejuvenating? Like, hey, I'm I'm the guy that, or there's a chance of me going to another organization getting an opportunity. Probably both, you know, depending on the player. I think you got players that look at it as a great a great uh, chance for them with another organization to move up quickly, and I think you, some players. This is the only organization they've known for a short period of time. And, uh, you know, they had visions of them becoming a Texas Ranger. So anytime there's a trade involved, you know, it can be shocking to a player. Uh, I guess it's one of those things when you least expect it, you know, these things happen. So for some players, it's a shock and, and they take it so. And others, I think they look at it as a, as a great chance. Of the players who have left, who do you think might be the first we'll see in a big league uniform? I know uh, a lot of people are looking at Luki as being someone who could come up. Soon. Yeah, it's a, that's a tough call. You know, um, I w to throw a name out there, I would say Josh Luki is probably a guy that has a chance to get up there and, and make a contribution quicker than anybody. And uh, finally, any updates on your son in the contract negotiations? No, no updates. He's coming home Wednesday. You can call him if you want. But he's, he, you know, right now it looks like he'll go back to school. Um, for his redshirt junior year, go out, have another good year, and come away next season with a degree and get ready to go play.